Hi, everyone. This is Jim Carroll with Advanced Solutions together with Eric Rattay of SP, SIPD. And today we are so excited to demonstrate the Acupatica ERP product. Uh, Eric's firm and mine have been responsible for dozens of installations of the Acumatica product, and it continues to impress, just being a fantastic tool for uh, the mid-market. Uh, today, we're going to kick off our Day in the Life series in terms of how a user interacts with the Acumatica product, and our focus today is going to be on platform. Now, three things about Acumatica that we'll reinforce. Uh, during the presentation. One, it's millennial friendly and feature rich. Two, it's like having an automated seven by 24 employee behind the scenes doing all sorts of rote activities. So Acumatica provides a tremendous return on your investment. And three, a modern platform, Acumatica fully takes advantage of the internet of things, and with the newer project or newer programs and releases, we now have implemented artificial intelligence into the Acumatica offering, making it even more exciting product with better return for our customers. So, Eric, let's start off. And uh, today, Eric's going to be a, a customer service uh, representative at Acumatica, and I'm going to be a customer who's going to call in and ask for some help. And so, ring, ring, ring. Hey, Eric, this is Jim. How you doing? Very fine, very fine. What about yourself? All right. I'm fantastic, please. And uh, we're looking at uh, maybe doing a little bit more business. So, could you uh, please look up our account? And yeah. I happen to be with, yep, the U.S. Bartending School. So, I'm searching with the search bar. I'm searching for the, the name school. And it, as in Google, it highlights the school. Uh, regardless if it's uh, the middle of the name. So I will select, I could have searched by phone number or any other criteria that I want. So, and you can add your own criteria. So I'm selecting USA Barding School. And you will notice that all the dashboards will be refreshed according to the new, um, this new, the customer that I selected. So, so if I understand correctly, you've gone from a dashboard of all customers to the same dashboard, but now it's filtered to specifically the bartending school. Yes, and when you say bartending uh, all the customers, uh, I just want to point out that you can restrict the access to certain people within your organization to have only access to certain customers. So if you Fantastic. have sales person in charge of territories, then they will have access only to their customers should you want to. Right. Same with like Acumatic as a multi-company, so I could have company one and company two, person A, person B with company one, two, et cetera. Correct? Yeah. Um, I would add that it's a multi-software, so multi-currency, multi-company, multi-warehouse, multi-user, uh, multi-divisions, multi-branches, so it's a multi-software, yeah. Fantastic. Okay. So, anyway, I'm on the dashboard now, and I see a red bar across the top. What's that telling me? Well, it, it turned red because your account is on credit hold, sir. So, um, so there is a problem <laughs> here. <laughs> no. <laughs> so how much and, do I owe you? <laughs> and you owe me, so right here, 100K, and on that 100K, you owe me like uh, 29K is overdue. And um, internally, I can uh, tell you that there is a problem because these indicators are in red. Um, so you can notice that there are also uh, indicators in, in green. So my point is that um, indicators can turn from green to yellow to red or vice versa, depending on the criteria that you set within the system. Acumulica comes with a large range out-of-the-box dashboards that you can are personalized without having to code anything. I um, see. So what this is, I thought that I had a, was missing a shipment, but what you're telling me here is, from the system's perspective, no shipments are late in terms of being shipment of being shipped. But I see overdue opportunities, meaning that I've asked for a couple of quotes, and I was uh, perhaps promised yesterday or the day before, and they haven't gone out yet. And then from your perspective. 
I owe you $29,000. So on the 29000 I don't show on uh, my systems being owed. Can you send me an invoice on that? Sure. Uh, let's look into it. So I'm opening here the list of customers. Uh, so the drill down capabilities, so you're, I'm confident that the numbers are good. I can see here the overdue amount. Um, I can have a full list of customers, uh, but right now with the drill down, I'm uh, drilling down to your account. And I can to, uh, do two things. First of all, I will get a list of invoices. So you've got, uh, you owe me three invoices with the corresponding amount, and you can see that this one here is late. Um, so I will open it. And uh, 29K, and maybe you're, you didn't pay me because I'm very sorry, sir. Um, I can see here that uh, there is no activity, meaning that uh, I didn't send you the invoice by email, so I will do it right now. I knew now. it. <laughs> you knew you were right, right? <laughs> oh, we like to pay our bills. Right. So this is the invoice, and if I sending, uh, I'm sending it by email, you will see that I don't have to type anything because there is all, all, already a, a little text there. The PDF will be attached here, um, and um, once I do that. Let's just reopen it to, to do a refresh. I don't have to do it, but just to make sure, now there is an activity. Um, so meaning that I can go back and see the email that I just sent you uh, with the statistics about when it has been sent and all that good stuff. Um, do you know, uh, are you able to tell me when you will pay me? You know, I'm going to jump on this right away. You're a, a great supplier, and I'll call up my A uh, P group and have them get the check out tomorrow. Good. So I should receive it by the end of the week. So what I'll do, I'll just create a task to remind myself if I don't receive it by the end of the week. And I will assign that to me. Of course, I could assign that to uh, uh, my team or another person, should I want to. And I will put a reminder at the end of this week. So now I've got two activities, a task, two activities. And that's it. And just to make sure that uh, we don't, because we are very sorry, it was our mistake. What I'll do, I'll just go into your customer maintenance. And what I'll do, I'll just uh, turn your status active. So um, you won't have to wait for your orders to be processed. Very sorry about that. Um, by the way, did you uh, send us an NDA um, recently? I don't. Uh, I could have. Do you have it on file? Uh, not sure. Oh, yes, of course. I have it. See me. I didn't look it, into it. Um, so I will just, uh, I can open it if I want to. But now I know that it's there. So that's fine. Fantastic. Okay. So where are you calling up? So I'll just go back to my uh, dashboard just to see, to make sure that next time uh, you won't be annoyed because of the credit hold thing that I just turned off. And I noticed that the red bar is no longer there because real time you updated. Perfect. Thank you very much, Eric. Now, hey, the reason I called was that uh, I lost my password, surprise, surprise, to my portal. Can you help me with that? Sure. Um, so you sent me an email, right? Yes, yes, I did. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll just do a search in my system. Oh, so That's the cool. email, when you send me an email, um, automatically yeah. um, the system creates a case, a ticket in my system. 
So I will just open it. So you left your So you have a history of all the correspondence I have when I need support. Is that correct? Correct. Yes. Um, so what I'll do, I'll just send it uh, to you, back to you. Um, so I'll create, I'll send you, I'll send it to you by email. And what I'll do, by the way, on the customer portal, you have an hyperlink to reset it yourself. But since you're a very good customer, then I will just uh, send it to you. Good enough. So here we have all sorts of templates of different email types that I might want to use to interact with a customer. In this case, it was for a password to my portal. And on my portal, I take it that's my view to Acumatica as a customer, and I can see pending cases and invoices and the like. Is that a, 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 Correct. a true statement? Perfect. Yes. And you can see here the uh, the notification and all the the, the, the emails there, um, and so one case results. Fantastic! Thank you very very much. And so I now I was to, yeah. To, Go ahead. Uh, a last thing, um, I used the global search at the top um, to search for the portal, so I can see everything that has the word portal in it, including the cases or. Um, or the help top topic, if uh, that would be a case, or the 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 menu, but you may uh, and the files as well, the attach file, the attachment that we have. Um, but you made me reminder also that remind also that um, because uh, you didn't receive the invoice because somebody forgot to send it to you, I just want to make yes. sure that this won't be repeated again. Um, so what I'll do, I'll go to my favorite that will contain my shortcuts to my day-to-day -day, uh, life. And what I'll do, I'll just go and dive my process invoices and memo. I will open up, open it up, and then I will make sure that the action email invoice, as opposed as me be, uh, being having to do, uh, to do it manually, I will just put that into a schedule. So I will benefit from my new employee that works for me 24-7 without complaining. This Perfect. So I it. saw some millennial friendly stuff before and now what you're showing me is is that you can schedule various ERP activities like sending an invoice in this case, could be a PO, whatever, and you can schedule those uh, to go out uh, by a calendar date. Yes, I will. I will send them um, all the uh, business day, and I will send them at five o'clock. So it will the so system they, all all the invoices that have not been already sent by email, they will send it automatically uh, for me. So I can override manually, but if it, if I haven't done that then this is kind of like, like you say, an automatic employee that will take care of it for me. Right. So I don't have to, to take care of them. Got it. You know, if I'm on the road a lot and I need to know if something's overdue, would I get an email too or something like that? Would I get a notification like that instead of a transaction being sent? Do I also get these types of notifications? Yes, you will get uh, these kinds of notification. In addition to uh, the software, um, and by the way, you don't have nothing to install uh, on any user desktop. Um, you just need yeah. an internet browser to use Acumatica. But um, there is also a mobile app um, that uh, employees can use uh, to approve things or to look at dashboards the same fashion as we, uh, we are doing now. And we'll show you that to you uh, in the next uh, uh, the next Fantastic. few months day in the life series. Yeah, I get it. So, like, I see. Okay. So, last question I had here is I was looking at my order history, mm -hmm. and I was hoping that we could review things because I'm looking at perhaps 
uh, 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 making some additional purchases of other items. So can you take a look at uh, uh, my order history, please, or sure. the items? So, All right. So the the items I've, I've got them here. Um, so I know that you you ordered a, um, like a, a couple of uh, of Coca Cola cans. Um, so 59 of them. This is 28 percent of your um, of your purchases. And I can see that the order trend in the last couple of months is pretty stable. Um, okay. Should you want a report um, of uh, what you purchase? The items that you purchased? I was just hoping to take a look at a list of the items themselves. Oh, a list of the items themselves. Yes, sure. Yeah. So. There you go. So I'll just uh, bring you as a customer. So we went from all items to the items that I specifically have purchased. Is that correct? Correct. And I see that across the top, you've got lots of columns. Um, mm -hmm. Are these the full information or is there additional information that I can see? Oh, so maybe um, should if I would want you, uh, I would want to send you something then I guess yep. I will need a customer class as an example. And uh, maybe the order in which the the things are displayed is not the one that you would want to. So I can um, change the That's order of the cool. columns. Uh, the branch, you don't need it as well. So what I'll do, I'll just remove it. So remove the branch, remove the customer class, uh, maybe add the salesperson. Um, yeah, we have a couple sales guys that help us, so I see. That would be neat. Yep. Now, if you don't mind, if you go to that inventory description, can you uh, organize those alphabetically? Sure. So, that's uh, something it is. And, and um, mm -hmm, go, ahead. go ahead. I was just going to say, um, can you organize similarly the net sales then and show me what the largest orders are. Sure. Wow. Oh, and this goes to three pages long, I see. Yep. So if I wanted to generate this in a report, could I output this to Excel? Mm -hmm. How would I do that? So what I'll do, um, if you would want to have the, the sales per item per month, uh, I can do yeah. that very quickly. Um, creating a pivot table. So I'll put the inventory description as rows. I'll put the net sales as values, a sum. And what I would do, I would um, create a date as column. So you can build a pivot table in Acumatica itself. Is that correct? Correct. Wow. And so after that, I can have the drill down capability so I can see uh, where this number is coming from, these two sales orders, and I can go at the sales order level should I want to, to open the sales order. But this could be a purchase order, this could be a vendor, et cetera. Is that correct? This kind of drill around capability that I'm seeing? Yes, correct. Very good. And, in, in, and then in, I notice you've got the, the gr light green and the SART green. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there formatting on the uh, yeah, this is, um, view that uh, I'm seeing here? Yes, this is conditional form formatting. So depending on the criteria that you decide, you can highlight in different colors. So let's say that you want to have uh, um, like the, the profit margin. Um, depending on the, the, the margin that you have, then maybe you can have uh, things in different uh, in different <laughs> format, <laughs> in different colors. 
And so what I'll do also is uh, instead of having the num the net sale, I would um, I can use the percentage of the of the grand total. So then if I go back, then instead of having uh, um, uh, numbers, and I now have the percentage. So Acer laptop computer is 24, 0.24% of my, uh, of your purchase here. Um, and I can Got have it. it by month as well. That is that really, really nice. Okay, now just the basic, I see that Excel icon on the top. Does that mean I can actually output this to Excel as well? I can see that I've got this great functionality within Acumatica, but does it also allow me, like my accountants, they love Excel, so. Uh, yes. So I will oh. uh, click on it. It will generate a file. Um, and there are a couple of things with this yes. file, and of course. So my Excel is in French, but it, it still works in English if you're using Excel yeah. in English. Um, so, and, and the good thing about Acumatica is that the numbers are, are real numbers. What I mean by that is that you don't have to um, remove the titles or anything. So if you want to do a sum, yeah, that's um, really cool. this is very, very easy to do. Um, the other thing also is that uh, if you go to data and then you refresh all, uh, the system will yeah. connect to Acumatica and we'll refresh the data um, uh, with the new values that you entered in Acumatica. So, so I can if save you, this as an example and then just go from Excel and get the information. Correct. And you can even uh, take the Excel uh, information that is in Excel and upload new data in Acumatica. Fantastic. Wow. Eric, this has been most, most helpful. Um, I can really see how there's lots of millennial-friendly features throughout Acumatica. I think uh, uh, I can see it's rich within this one area, but I'm sure it's expansive overall and integration with Excel, at least, in terms of the IoT. But I think uh, moving out of character, these are things that will reinforce in additional uh, day-in-the-life type series on the Acumatica product. So in closing, thank you very much for your participation. Anything else, Eric, on your end that you'd like to show or say? No. Thank you very much. And Yeah, and just real quick, how long did it take you to build this dashboard? I mean, is this like a two-hour job, a three-hour job, a 10-minute job to build a widget like this? No. It's, off the top. It's uh, already included. So there are a lot of dashboards already included. And, oh uh, and so we don't have Modified to worry about it. Modified is easy. All right. I'll yeah. tell you what. We'll do a video on that at a later date. Thank you so much. And thank you for uh, uh, looking at our Day in the Life series in terms of some of the features, friendliness features of the Acumatica product.